friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. It is Meal Prep Tuesday. I know, it's kind of weird. Normally my meal preps are uploaded on Monday, but yesterday I uploaded a video all about the new plan. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link it as well as the video I did prior to the release of the plan down in the description box for you so you can check them out. So I didn't wanna skip out on meal prep because this week is so delicious and so, so low point. So I thought I'd bring you meal prep on Tuesday. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box for all four recipe eBooks. The fourth and final one, Snacks and Desserts, was released. So now you can add all four to your collection. They all contain 15 recipes with calories as well. You're also going to find nutrition coaching. I do personalized macros and calories. Definitely recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to everything I share with you today and my Facebook group Head on over, join us there. We have lots of fun things coming out for the holidays and we'd love to have you. So let's jump in to Tuesday's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making maple pecan granola. I picked up those yogurts in my grocery haul. If you haven't seen that, I will link that grocery haul down in the description box, but I wanted to make some granola to go on my yogurt for the morning. So let me show you what's in my recipe. First, you're going to need some no sugar or low sugar added craisins, coconut oil, almond extract, pecan halves, vanilla extract. I'm using vanilla bean paste in place of extract. And then I'm going to substitute pumpkin pie spice for the cinnamon and nutmeg called in the recipe just because I like those flavors a little bit better. You're also going to need maple syrup, salt, rolled oats. Do not substitute for quick cook. Go with regular rolled oats. And then white chocolate chips. These are just the Lily's white chocolate chips. So before we get started putting together the dry part of our granola, I showed you guys the wrong maple syrup. I realized that I had modified the recipe to use a sugar-free maple syrup. So of course I'm using Lakanto. This is my favorite. It has good ingredients for a sugar-free syrup. It does not contain caramel coloring, which is the one thing I don't like about non- real maple syrup. So I am using this in place of that regular maple syrup and I will link Lakanto in the description box with 15% off for you. So now let's start putting together the dry portion of the granola. So in a medium sized bowl, I'm adding four cups of rolled oats, one cup of whole pecans, my pumpkin pie spice, or you would be adding in your cinnamon and nutmeg. And I'm also adding a pinch of salt. And then we're going to stir this up really well. Now we're adding in the wet ingredients. So I have half of a cup of melted coconut oil, half of a cup of my Lakanto maple syrup, half of a teaspoon of almond extract. I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla bean paste. This is optional. You can either do vanilla, or almond, or in my case, if you wanna do both, you can. And then we're going to stir this really, really well. You don't want any of your rolled oats dry. This smells so good. I smell almond, I smell maple, really excited. You're going to line a rimmed baking sheet with some parchment paper, and then we are going to spread the granola on top of that parchment. We're baking our granola at 350 degrees for about 21 to 25 minutes. We wanna stir this about halfway through. I just pulled out our granola. My house smells incredible. You can see that the oats are nice and brown and crispy. We're going to let this sit for about 45 minutes. We need it to completely cool before we add in the craisins and the white chocolate chips. One hour later. Your granola needs to be completely cooled is number one so you can get in there with your hands and mix in the craisins and the white chocolate chips. 
And number two is that the white chocolate chips don't melt. So I'm going to store my granola in just a glass dish. So I'm just going to take my parchment paper and dump everything into the dish. And there is our homemade clean ingredient, maple pecan granola. This is a lot of granola. It makes 24 servings. I will go ahead and put the points on the screen, but remember if oats are zero points for you, that's going to change the points of the overall recipe. So I'll just put them into your recipe builder to confirm. I'm excited for this. So topping a two or three point yogurt with a serving of the granola is a perfect, perfect snack. You could even eat this by itself. You have nuts, you have chocolate chips, really excited for this. For lunch this week, I'm making a one pot lunch. This is such an easy, delicious meal prep. It'd be a great dinner. This is a one pot roasted red pepper and sausage Alfredo. So we're making Alfredo with pasta, I can't wait. So let me show you what's in our recipe. Basil is not part of the original recipe, but I'm going to go ahead and add it because I love basil. It's my very, very favorite herb, so I'm going to add some to my dish. I'm using feta cheese, you can also use goat cheese. You'll need some fresh spinach, Parmesan cheese, and roasted red bell pepper in water. 99% extra lean ground turkey garlic and I'm using pork and poultry seasoning to season up my turkey to taste like sausage. That's a little pro tip, a great way to save points and calories. You'll need salt and pepper, low fat milk, oil, chicken broth, and pasta. Now, of course, I'm using my fiber gourmet pasta. I'm doing the rotini shape. You guys already know how much I love a fiber gourmet pasta. It is so good. The taste, the texture, everything. And the best part is it's 100 calories per two ounce serving versus 210 calories of traditional pasta. So it's less than half the calories, less than half the points. It's only two points per serving. Now that may have changed with the new personal points plan. I'll put it here on the screen because this is loaded with fiber. There's 25 grams of fiber in this pasta, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein. So it's likely this went down in points. So we are going to find out. And again, it'll be here on the screen. Now I order my fiber gourmet off of Nettrition. It's generally in stock. It's the lowest price and they have the four different shapes of pasta that Fiber Gourmet makes. So I'll link Nutrition down below for you and let's get started on lunch. So to get started on lunch, I've added one pound of the 99% ground turkey. Turn on my burner to medium heat and I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. And that's going to give us that whole sausage vibe without all of the fat, points, and calories. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil as well. That's going to help add a little bit of fat back in and help it from sticking to the pan. I'm also going to go ahead and add my fresh garlic. Now that my turkey, AKA sausage, is all browned, I'm adding in one and a half cups of low fat milk and one and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm adding in my very, very finely diced jar of roasted red peppers salt and pepper. And our bag of fiber gourmet pasta. And we're going to stir that together, allow it to come to a boil. Once the pasta starts to boil, go ahead and pop a lid on it. We're going to allow it to cook. It's gonna take about eight minutes or so for fiber gourmet. Once your pasta is done, there is still a little liquid, which we definitely need when we add the cheese in. But I do have some torn basil. And again, this is something that I'm choosing to add to mine. And then I'm going to add just two big handfuls of spinach because we know spinach wilts down to pretty much nothing and we're going to allow that spinach to wilt. Once the spinach is wilted, we're adding in four ounces of feta and half of a cup of Parmesan cheese and then we're going to stir that in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. Stir that in and our pasta is ready. This is going to be so delicious and cheesy, full of spinach and flavor. I'm pretty excited for my lunch this week. And here's the pasta. Doesn't this look so good and cheesy and creamy? I'm gonna let it cool for just a few minutes. We'll put it into a storage container and then we'll go over the points and calories. So here is my 
one pot roasted red pepper and sausage alfredo. I'm pretty excited about this. The entire bowl, and this is a big bowl, makes only eight serving. So it is going to be quite a large serving. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen once I've redone my calculations based on personal points. But this is going to be such a great lunch. It's full of protein, fiber, veggies, 10 out of 10. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making a pumpkin cheesecake cottage whip. This is a great treat option or sweet option because it's packed with protein, but you're still getting all of the sweetness and dessert vibes. It is very, very, very simple. It is four ingredients. So we're starting with pumpkin pie spice. You'll need pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie mix, but pumpkin puree unsweetened, a low fat cottage cheese of your choice, and then sweetener of your choice. You already know I'm using Lakanto, my very favorite, and that is again linked down below with 15% off. And then you'll need some type of blending device. So for the pumpkin cheesecake cottage whip, I have my little magic bullet. I'm going to add half of a cup of the pumpkin puree, half of a cup of cottage cheese, Pumpkin pie spice, I'm going to add a lot because I love pumpkin pie spice. And then whatever sweetener you wanna use, however much you wanna use. So I'm just going to add just a couple of small pinches. We are going to add the lid to the magic bullet and blend it up. It is that simple. You'll know that it's done blending because it is nice and smooth. Look at that. It looks like frozen yogurt pudding texture. Ooh, I am really excited. So again, here's your consistency. It's very, very pudding-like. So this is one serving. We're gonna go ahead and add that to a bowl. We're going to try this in real time. So here it is. This looks so incredibly delicious. Like I said, we're going to try it in real time. You can add some chopped nuts to this to bulk it up, add a little bit of healthy fat. You can also pop this in the fridge for an hour or two and it becomes more of a cheesecake thicker like consistency, but we're going to eat it as is. All right, let's give it a try. It smells like pumpkin pie filling. Wow. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like pumpkin pie filling. You do not taste cottage cheese. There is no cottage cheese texture. I will say that I wish I would have added a little bit more sweetener. It's not quite sweet enough for me. It's more of a savory dessert, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of sweetness, but I definitely would add a little more sweetener. So good though. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. I wanna see if it thickens up to that more cheesecake-like consistency. And this is going to be my dessert tonight, but Highly recommend making this. It's really good if you love pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie filling, you're going to love this. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. Don't forget you can find all of today's recipes on my website. I'll link that at the top of the description box. Also in the description box, you will find my four recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. Apparently UPS is here. Somebody's here that my dogs are losing their mind over. So sorry about that in the background. But if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up it. And of course, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Tuesday. And I'll see you in tomorrow's What I Eat in a Day.